Hi everyone. So this video will learn how you can convert string into array in JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link our style sheet. Add the script file here. We need one container. And it will have one button that will be convert and we'll have a dual element we'll leave this empty for a while later we'll fill this element with a couple of list items using javascript it should be convert actually go to style sheet select the container and here we'll make it display flex flex direction will be column align items will be center We'll also have a couple of list items later. So let's style them here. List style will be none. Margin left will be minus 30 pixels. Font width will be bold. Open this file in the browser. And this is the output. Let's start working on the script file. Select the button, select the UL element, it will be output, we need one string which will later convert into array, so let's make it fruits. It will have a couple of fruits, for example, apple, mango, kiwi, grapes, and orange. Let's add event listener to this button. Here it will be click. This will be the handler function. And here we'll simply console log the fruits. To convert this string into array, we have to make use of split method. So let's create a variable here. It will be template. Roots. Split. And the separator will be comma. And we'll console log it. Now save it. Go to browser. Open the console window and when you will click here, first you will get the string, then you will get the array which we have created using this split method and you can see the comma is gone because we are using it as a separator. Let's create a template of list items using the map method. Since this is an array, we can make use of map method here. I'll use backticks here. So that I can use this fruits variable like this. Then we'll use join method here to convert this array into a string and we'll pass new line character here. It's time to set the inner HTML for the UL element. So output dot inner HTML will be equal to this template. Save it, go to browser, click and this is the output. Based on your requirement, you can change the separator. For example, if I will not have comma here, I will have just a space like this. I can simply put a space here. Save it, go to browser and click. And you can see it's working exactly the same. If you need array of characters, then you don't need to pass here anything, just delete it. And here we'll put hello world. Now we'll get the array of characters. Click and this is the output. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.